And so if you're saying, why isn't this happening? Because I've been doing the inner work. The majority of the time, there are two things that you guys want to recognize that you're doing constantly in a rush. You're paying attention to the delay. You have to take that off the table, seeking for evidence in your reality to know that you're doing the inner work. So you're not trusting your inner work that has to be taken off the table. When you do get reflections of what you don't want, that it's not, it's not anyone's fault. It's your programming being reflected back to give you the opportunity to release it and let it go. Okay. You do not have to be perfectly healed. In fact, it's a beautiful thing when you get yourself to a point where you feel strong, stable, secure, in love with yourself on a very deep level, appreciating yourself, valuing yourself, knowing that you are literally already perfect right now, exactly how you are, even with your wounds, and that your person is also perfect right now, exactly how they are, even with their wounds but that you guys actually love each other and feel you feel so safe and secure with yourself and with your person. And you also see that they feel safe and secure with you. So the two of you guys can just be raw and real with each other. All of the illusions of the toxic baggage, all of the problems, none of it matters anymore. Those, all of those things that you guys are still kind of ruminating on in your mind those things need to be let go and dropped. So you get to a point where it's just, I don't care what the circumstances, I don't care if it's long distance, I don't care if there's a third party, I don't care if there are multiple third parties, I don't care if they said they don't wanna be with you, leave me alone, I don't love you, I don't care about you. I don't care about those other things. So you just let all of that go because all of those things were your reflections. So you drop it, you let it go, and you start fresh and new, seeing the highest and best version of you, the highest and best version of your person, the highest and best version of the relationship. I trust in my inner work. In fact, have that be part of your affirmations. I know and I trust that my inner work is working. I know that this is done. I'm thankful and grateful for our love, for our relationship. We love our life together. We love our home life together. We bring out the best in each other. We always support each other. We love, we love everything about each other. Our communication is always consistent. We always stay connected with each other, okay? If you can go deep into trust, dropping the old stuff, because of course, if you keep all of the stuff in your memory banks and you keep ruminating, of course, you're going to be creating delays and creating also you're not going to allow yourself to want to be with somebody who you believe is threatening to your stability, to your safety. Stop, stop seeing your person that way and stop seeing yourself that way. Okay. So just go into the depths of your soul and trust in that. Please do affirm down below that you trust in the highest and best versions of yourselves in the relationship and that you are claiming and choosing being together and happy. You can obviously sum that up however you want. I know I always go on and on with the affirmations below, but please do affirm something below in the positive for you and your person. And reach out to me if you need me. I love you. Have an amazing day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.